Hi, it's Chris with Implied Music, and today I want to talk about strata harmony. Strata harmony is a very specific thing in the Schillinger system of composition and arranging, and I want to be clear, that's not what I'm talking about today, but strata can be really useful for us. Strata, like layers in uh, geology or lasagna. It can give you rich sounding chords, better orchestrations, just generally instrumental forms that are more compelling, more cinematic, thicker. Well, let's take a look. <music> So I, I mentioned Schillinger, and he's worth a, a look, a deep dive, sort of an academic, um, and uh, it might be a little bit too much to swallow in one sitting, but my teacher, Dr. Roland Wiggins, was uh, a student of his, and he, uh, that's sort of in my brain. However, what I'd like to talk about today is how I use the idea of strata in arranging, of layers. Um, and I use it in a couple of different ways, certainly when I'm working with multiple instruments and complicated chords and parts, but also when I'm building more interesting uh, chord voicings and even chord progressions. Let's do a kind of a little review and I'll show you a few of the sort of tricks that, that I use. Uh, it really actually simplifies complicated chords. I'll show you what I mean. Okay, just a, a little review here. If I have this G major triad, and you can see it says it's a G major triad, it has to be part of some scale system. Maybe it's the part of the G Ionian scale system, and I could continue that on up. And maybe instead of uh, C up here at the top, I make it C sharp. Now, what I like to do is imagine my complicated chords as sort of two layers. So my triad in the left hand, the G triad, is paired with a second triad up at the top. Now that's an A major triad, the computer thinks it is as well. However, those two things together get me a beautiful sounding G69 sharp 11 chord, right? You see the analysis? All I've done is play the third from the G major triad and an inverted A chord over the top. Two major triads partnered together Let's quickly look at what I just played. So check it out. There's that G third at the bottom. Those notes don't change. And look at the strata on the top. Really think of it as a separate layer. Those are the A major triad sounds. And then I made a little shift to an E flat major triad. And then I made a little shift to a D major triad. A. E flat, D. It's a striking sound, very epic, held together by that simple voicing on the bottom. Listen to it again. A on the top, E flat on the top, resolving to D on the top. And that beautiful sound, here, let's show it. That beautiful sound at the end is easily analyzable as a G major nine chord. Well, there's three important types of chords, obviously, the major seven chord, the minor seven chord, and the dominant chord. This works for the other types as well. So look at the G minor sound. There's the G minor triad. I'm going to put an F triad on the top of it. I get G minor nine with an 11th. And that's a beautiful sound as well. And I can use the same, I'll just say, trick that I used previously. I'll use just the third, and I'll add the inverted triad on the top. I've got a voicing that I can move around with great beauty and just kind of a lot of energy. That triad doesn't have to be the sort of triad built on the flat seven. It could be another one. Here's my B flat minor with different triads on the top of it. You can lift out and come back. Lift out, sort of add something that's just a little bit kind of weird and spicy, right? 
along with the major chords, the minor chords, the major seven chords, the minor seven chords, we've got dominant chords. And dominant chords are fantastic for this. Here's my G, there's my minor seventh that creates the dominant sound. It has this spicy tritone in it, the third and the seventh. Let's add our A major triad on the top of that. And that's a beautiful sound. It's a little bit hard for the poor computer to uh, analyze, apparently. <laughs> there are numerous major triad possibilities. There's the A major triad on the top of my G7 sound. There's the E flat major triad on the top. Let's do the E. They're all interesting in their own way. Lots of interesting possibilities, right? This leads me to my favorite uh, sort of trick with layering, sometimes called an upper structure chord. It uses the tritone from a dominant chord with specific uh, tri major triads in the right hand. It's particularly powerful because the tritones move around the circle of fifths in a very interesting way. As these tritones descend by half steps, they suggest a harmonic motion around the circle of fifths. And I'll show you what I mean. The circle of fifths being G, C. C is the five of F. F is the five of B flat. G7, C7, F7, B flat 7, E flat 7, etc. Gives me tritones that look like this. I love that. It's just descending in half steps and yet gives me the feeling of going around the circle of fifths. Here's my major triad on the top, the A major triad on the top of my G7 tritone. Everything can sync by half steps. It's a very powerful sound. So let's say I have my lower strata, the G and the B from the G major chord, just kind of oscillating like that. And why don't I put a little arpeggio in the upper strata? And I can use a different major chord with that. That was A, E flat, D. In fact, I can interpenetrate the two hands, hands on top of each other. Instrumental form is just how you play the chord. Here's a tenth. And then here's a A major chord, slightly different tense. How beautiful this would be in strings. So we've looked at strata harmony basically today, haven't we? But the idea is it could be extended to orchestration, different instrumental types and different layers, um, rhythmic strata, different complexities of the division of the beat or the meter within different strata. It is a broad notion and one which really sparks my imagination. And not it's not only useful for my imagination, I actually think it's easier on my brain to think in terms of strata. I can focus on a single layer, one thing at a time, and get better results that way. Well, I hope this has been useful. Like and subscribe, ding the bell. You'll be notified when I do my videos. And uh, I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.